Hi, modern fashion designers. You're welcome back to class. This is Modern Woman April. I want to specially thank all my viewers and my subscribers. And if this is your first time being here, you're highly welcome. Please join us by clicking on the subscribe button, turn on your notification bell so as to get notified whenever I upload a new video. Thank you. In today's class, we're going to be learning how to calculate, cut and sew a 360 degrees flare skirt and you can also call it a full flare skirt. So at the end of this class, you'll be able to know how to calculate a full flare skirt. You should also be able to know the amount of fabric you'll be needing when making a full flare skirt for a client, no matter the size of the client. You should also be able to confidently cut and sew a full flare skirt of any length. So guys, without wasting much of our time, let's start with the tutorial of the day. I'll be making use of this um, fabric here for this class, but before I put this fabric on fold, we'll need to do a little calculations. So the measurement we'll be needing for this class is just the waist circumference and the length of the skirt. So for this, the waist circumference I'm making use of is 30 inches. So plus 2 inches for seam allowance, that will make it 32 inches. And I'm making use of a skirt length of 24 inches plus 0 0.5 inch for hemming allowance, that's for folding the down part, and that will make it 24.5. Now the formula for 360 degrees flare is 6.28. Now what I'm going to do first is to get the radius of this skirt. So to get the radius of this skirt, what I will do now is to divide what I have here, the waist circumference of this skirt, by this formula here, 6.28. So remember, the waist circumference is 30 plus 2 inches. That will give me 32. So I will divide it by 6.28. And I have 5.09, which I will approximate to 5.1 inches. So I have 5.1 inches. Now this is the radius that we're working with, 5.1 inches. Now to know the amount of fabric I'll put on fold, because I can't just take any amount of fabric and start putting it on fold. So to know the amount of fabric I'll put on fold, what I'll do is to add the length of this skirt, which is 24.05, to this 5.1 inches, which is the radius of this skirt. So the length is um, 24 plus plus half inch, which will give me 24.5. Now, if I'm making a skirt, if this skirt is not having um waistband, what I'll just do is to add this 24.5 to those um 5.1 inches. But because I'm making use of a waistband, what I'll do is to subtract the length of my waistband from this length of the skirt. So this is the skirt length here. And I'll be needing a waistband of two inches length so i'll remove two inches from this length and i'll be having 22.5 i hope you understand now this 22.5 is what i'll add to this 5.5 that i have here and this will give me 27.6 so we are done with the calculations it means that the amount of fabric i'll put on fold will be 27 points on four folds. So I'll show you what I mean. Now let's assume this is my fabric here. It means that by the time I fold it like this into two, by the time I fold it like this into two, this place will be 20, 27.6. And by the time I also fold it this way again, into four from here the length of this will be 27.6 so i'll first of all fold it into two 27.6 i'll also fold it again the length of this place here on fold will still be 27.6 that means by the time i open it up like this the length here is 27.6 times two but when i fold it here just 27 point Sis, I hope you understand. And this part too, by the time I open it up, what I'll have here should be 27.6 times 2. 
I hope you understand. Now, I told you that um, at the end of this class, you should be able to know the amount of um, fabric, the yards that it will take you to make a flesh skirt of any size. Now, remember I have um, 27.6 here, and I said by the time I open it up here, it will be 27 point, 27 point 27.6 times 2. So, 27.6 multiplied by 2 will give me 55.2. Now, to know the yards that I will be needing for this, what I will do now is to divide this 55.2 by 36. Remember, one yard is 36 inches. So, 55.2 divided by 36 will give me 1.5. This means that if I'm using any fabric that the length is um, above 55 inches, that means I'll be needing 1.5 yards of fabric for the flay side. I remember I'm attaching a waistband to this, so roughly I'll be making use of 1.5 yards plus an additional quarter. But because we, you know you cannot get that in the market so it's just better you buy two years of fabric so this will make you confident this will give you an idea of the amount of fabric that you use i hope you understand so let's put this fabric on fold and cut it out so guys i've gone ahead to put my fabric on fold remember what i have is i'm um, 27.6 inches so i went ahead to fold it to the nearest whole number which is 28 inches so what i'm having here the width here is 28 inches on fold and the length here is also 28 inches on fold. Remember how I folded it? This is the fabric. I placed it into two and also into four. So this is what I have here. Four folds. I also have four folds here. I hope you understand. Now we start taking the measurements. Now like we calculated earlier, the radius of what I'm working with is 5.1 inches. Now, I'll come to this place here, this part here, from the center. See this folded edge here? I'll come here from the tip of it. I'll measure 5.1 inches. 5.1 or true. So, I'll connect. So now that I've gotten the radius of what we are working with, from this radius here, I will get the length of this skirt. So I have um 22.5. Remember, it was supposed to be 24.5, but because I removed 2 inches from it for the waistband, so I'm measuring 22.5. After measuring, what I'll do is to connect all these points. So guys, this is it. But before I cut out, remember I'll be needing half inch on this upper part here to join to the waistband. So I'll just add half inch here for joining. So guys, this is it. This is my joining allowance. What I'll do now is to cut this out. cutting this is what i have so when we open it this is what we have here but because we are attaching a zipper to this i'll slash one part open so guys this is our flay you can see it looking beautiful already i've also gone ahead to cut out the waistband the width of this waistband is 32 inches that is the waist circumference i'm working with plus two inches for joining so this two inches one inch will be on this side and one inch will be on the side for seam allowance this seam allowance we also serve as the zipper allowance now the length of this um band is 2.5 inches two inches as the length of the band half inch for joining i hope you understand now we'll start joining these pieces together to join this together, what we are going to do first of all is to take this um, part here and join it to this waistband. So I'm going to place it right side facing each other and stitch all through with half an inch seam allowance. 
After attaching the waistband, this is what I have. Next is to join the sides. To join the sides, I place the right side facing each other and I'll stitch from here. This is where my zipper, so from here to this part here will be for my zipper allowance. So I'm sewing from here all the way down with one inch seam allowance. Having joined the sides, what I'll do now is to attach the zipper on this part here. After attaching the zipper, this is what I have. Please, as you're attaching the zipper, make sure these two seam lines are matching. That's just the beauty of it. Now, after that, what I'll do is to hem the down part. I've also gone ahead to serge all the raw edges. So what I'll do is to just fold this. Remember, I left half an inch for folding. So I'll just bend it once and stitch. But if you're a beginner, you can also finish this up by using a bias tape because folding this this way, I will tell the truth, it's not really an easy way. If you're a beginner, you can use a bias tape to line this. But for this, you can still get it. If I can do it, that means you too can. So what you do is just to practice over time and I'll show you. By the time you practice over and over and over, you will get it right. So I'll just take this to my machine, fold it once, and stitch all through after that i'll give this a good press put it on my mannequin let's see what we have so my modern people you can see the beautiful skirt that we have created if you're yet to subscribe to this channel please subscribe and please give this video a thumbs up comment and share this video with your friends thank you so much for watching i'll see you in my next class bye for now